All right, top of the hour, let's get you the report that has now been submitted to the parliament where scathing observations that have been made by the parliament uh, committee on health regarding the COVID-19 management by the government in which a panel has suggested to identify the COVID origin. The panel has also made observation on the COVID deaths. The panel had cited disappointment by the government's uh, ignorance. Now the health committee has said that it was disappointed in the government not anticipating the gravity of the second wave of the pandemic and they say the report says that many lives could have been saved during India's second wave of COVID-19 that occurred from April 2021 to June 2021 if the containment strategies were implemented on time by the central government. Now the panel says that they understand if the origin of coronavirus allowed to remain mystery, it will have a colossal consequences on biosafety and biosecurity of the world. Let me straight away go across to Madhav Das uh, joining us here on the broadcast. Good morning to you, Madhav. Therefore, if we talk about the committee making some strong recommendations and observations, especially on part of the government, that it failed to identify the gravity of the situation. Well, absolutely. And in fact, uh, you know, there are many gaps and not just at the level of the centre. Let's make it very clear that the committee also, in fact, has found the state governments wanting in terms of their response to COVID-19. But having said that, the committee has some very, very strong observations and recommendations that you rightly said that has been uh, put down in paper as far as this report that has been submitted. It has said that ministry has been cautioning states to maintain vigil and chalk out the situation and strategy and plan for any exigencies that may arise due to the resurgence of COVID-19. However, the committee is unhappy to note that many states were unable to cope up with the arising uncertainties and medical emergencies in the wake of mm. the pandemic resurgence of COVID-19 during the second wave, which caused more than 5 lakh registered deaths. The committee has also taken into consideration anticipation and conclusion of virologists that the virus will continue to evolve and possibly mutate into a more virulent and transmissible variant. And so it has been evident by COVID waves across the world. And therefore, it has advised the government that there is an urgent need to expand the genome sequencing machinery in the country to keep a track of mutating variants. It has also, of course, uh, gone on to say that there is a need to augment the genome sequencing facilities in the country. It has further seen that uh, various tasks uh, related to surveillance and epidemiology investigation in fact uh, uh, need to be more revitalized and uh, enshrined for effective control of the disease. Right. It has in fact also said that while the testing facilities and infrastructure has come a long way since the detection of COVID-19 case uh, they also say that COVID testing facility was only available in NIV Pune and then expanded. It has also recommended the ICMR's push for CBNAT, TrueNAT and other kinds of testing systems that were used for comprehensive screening and confirmation. So the committee has said uh, that they, for, for, uh, they also recommend the government to reckon its diplomacy to appeal to the community of uh, the nations to conduct more studies to identify the origin of COVID-19 and penalize the culprits at the international platform. For the moment, Madhav, thanks very much for joining in with those details.